My name is Kevin Chester, but I go by Casey. You know, most of the time for ex expectations as an inspector is just we're there to look at the work after it's completed, you know, to make sure that everything was done, you know, properly. But if you're not standing outside when they're pouring the concrete or tying the steel, then you don't necessarily know that all of the measures were taken, all the specifications were followed. The project I'm working on right now is the second busiest interchange in Central Florida. I've been actually working directly under the Central Florida Expressway Authority. They hold themselves to a higher standard, therefore our, our inspection team has to hold ourselves to a higher standard, so that way we can meet what the client expectations are 100% of the time. When you're a client and you're spending you know, the amount of money that some of these projects are worth, millions of dollars, you want to make sure that you're getting the best quality product as possible. This is Fort Mellon Park where we're standing at today. Um, this is huge. I actually grew up in Surrey Lakes, which is like a five minute bike ride down the street. Being able to come back now with kids and practice and teach them the game of basketball where I used to play basketball is just outstanding. Basketball brings people together. It's like a universal language. If I have a basketball court and we step in this 94 feet, the game is the same. The Sanford Justice League is a basketball organization. The major goal for SJL is to get kids to college for sure. Um, training, making sure that they're getting the maximum exposure necessary to get the college coaches to look at them is mandatory. Um, the president slash trainer, when we first started I was like we were training three kids. It wasn't anything major. I was just trying to get them looks and then it's just every single time we had training another one would come like another one would show up. Then we'd have five. Then a day I'd have 10. So now I'd say we probably have about 65 kids overall. Some of them only come twice a week. Some of them come three days a week, but they know that no matter what, Coach Casey is gonna be at the gym. I trained some kids that I used to play for their dads. Uh, my dad left when I was six, so having a role model that was you know, necessarily outside the lines or coach gave me, it gave me an opportunity to play sports, but to grow as an individual. Um, all of them accepted me with open arms. They all loved me like I was their son. I could feel that every day I went to practice. So now being able to give back to their kids, um, to be able to give them the same love is just outstanding. SJL wouldn't exist without CDM Smith. You know, working overnights is a blessing because I still have an opportunity to train all day and then I continue to go work at night. So it's not your typical Monday through Friday, eight to five. And if I did that, there would be no possible way I could ever give back like we're doing. In addition, when I first started Stanford Justice League, I took a lot of the documentation, whether it was the cover letters or some of the sponsorship forms to John Gibson. Um, he would review them and kind of give me pointers like, hey, maybe you should add this, take this out. My professional hero for CDM Smith is John Gibson. Oh, oh, man, I just, I can't tell you how much I appreciate everything he's done for me. Anytime I ever need something, it's just if I, if I go into John's office and I just shut the door, I can just talk to him about anything. And for him to have as much as he has on his plate, and I know that, to be willing to sit down with just an inspector and to just help me through what's going on in my mind, it's definitely been able to allow me to help the kids more than he'll ever know.